<laughs> oh so, yeah, that did make some people mad, but I'm like, I, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't I was shit. like, I don't give a shit about the Pope. Now is the time to wake up. Well, Jay, now's your chance to go into your uh, Watch Dogs rant. I have um, some things to say about Watch Dogs, too, though. So. Man, there, I actually get a, a soapbox to stand on? Aw, shit. It looks dope. <laughs> I actually, I, I'm probably going to play this game. I also like, since it's not, is this not Aiden again, even though I've kind of low-key kind of feel like going back and, and playing Watch Dogs now, um, just so I'm, I'm re-caught up with everything, but... Um, they, like, like, since it's not the same person, like, I feel like I can play, I can play the game. I can I can play the game without having to have played the first one, so I appreciate that. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably shorten it and give you the rundown of the the video that I have coming out tomorrow on uh, Just Jay Sama. So uh, you know, go check that out. <laughs> well, um, dude, you're not gonna you know, so you're like not gonna talk about anything. No, no, no. I'm definitely gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna shorten it a little bit because I talked for an hour specifically about like character development and all this other bullshit that nobody wants to hear um, except for myself because I like to hear myself talk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Um, all right, so to, to kind of start the character, this guy Marcus, he, lo he looks kind of cool. Um, just because he's black doesn't mean I, I'm. I do feel a little bit of a connection. Honestly, to him. I mean, he feels a little too black. He's like he says something. He's like Lucio. Like, hey, he's like, Come on, dog. He's, I'm like, no, yeah, he's no. Lucio. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. So I, I'm feeling some type of way about that, and I, I hope his backstory. I feel like isn't games bad. can never get black people right because they're like, listen, we have to be, we have to, we have to. Uh, we have to be pay homage to the black community, so he has to be an actual black guy. He can't be a whitewashed black guy. So, but so then they try to make him like not, not just like the color black, but they try to make him black black, and then they end up fucking it up. I'm like, no, you don't need to do that. Okay? Yeah, and just then give I, him the I'm dark just skin, I'm not down with this whole is, uh, troubled else. troubled youth backstory. Like, like like he's a kid who lives in the hood. First of all, none of this shit for for Watch Dogs ever made sense. That there's a guy who's smart enough to be a hacker, and he just happens to know kung fu. Like, no, no there's no. Yeah. He's a fucking yeah, assassin too. I like, was, like honestly, I thought it would be, I thought it would be, be it would be better or make more sense if it was like this guy. He, um, I don't know, like, like he, I, I feel like Aiden is clearly yeah, ex-military. Maybe what they should have done is had like multiple different characters, like you could use like different hackers, like because like I feel like it would be it would make more sense okay. if there was like okay. okay this guy can fight, this guy can hack, you know, like the fact that this nigga like I, I understand like he would go to the laptop, like I like how they were like oh some missions you don't even have to go in the room to uh, hack, and I'm like yeah that makes sense because but so like or even if he like snuck around and if he could like maybe fight with his fist, but then all of a sudden now this nigga can fucking juggle and shit and he's got guns and he's just killing niggas, I'm like so, well, so not, only, an, not only is he a marksman, yeah not know, only is he a hacker, a marksman parkour smith like he's just a, like, yo, he's just a bloodthirsty all... murderer like yeah what where like, does <laughs> where does this kid have the time to develop all of these skills and shit like i could barely I know, get youtube nigga videos right kill and shoot guns and shit like he's just some high school ass nigga like yeah like you said i didn't this the aiden whatever the fuck you say this guy's name he's somebody he's not just a fucking like hacker he, he he's um yeah like he do not seem like hacker hacking is his uh is his first language it seems like he's a fighter more so and people just taught him how to hack really so exactly so he kind of just got the the basic gist of it and then he was like like, okay, I can apply this to multiple Yeah, things. he just pushes buttons on a phone. This nigga sits down on his laptop and pilots drones and, you know, does all yeah, this other shit. Yeah, he's sitting there shit, actually so. doing code and stuff, and I'm like, okay, yeah. this is this is a little bit more intricate. But that's that's just the character. Now, the story, the story I'm not really caring too much, I, although it does hit home because, uh, you know, we do have the election coming up and shit. Hashtag, uh, I know, the comments I, uh, I was like, this, I was like, this video, this, hashtag this make overwatch like a great jab again. at Donald Trump. I'm like, trust? Really, nigga? You ain't slick. <laughs> yeah. But then yeah, again, that, that, that has been a lot of, a lot of the Ubisoft games try to push a couple of issues, like the original, uh, what, two or three, uh, uh, Assassin's Creed games before they got all politically correct. They were like, nah, we killed the Pope, nigga. Like, we don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh so, yeah, that did make some people mad, but I'm like, I, I don't know. I, don't I was shit. like, I don't give a shit about the Pope. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Real niggas don't give a shit. <laughs> so, yeah, and then then all of a sudden in Assassin's Creed uh, Revelations, they were like, oh, all of these are uh, mythological religions and a mesh of uh, cultures and all this other shit. I'm yeah, like, they always tell you at the beginning of each game that it's all work of fiction. But they didn't like that. do that for the first three Assassin's Creed games, and that's what I appreciated about them. They they didn't keep it political. Well, that's correct. the reason. That, I mean, they didn't feel like it was necessary, but yeah, they, they felt they, they then decided, oh, we have to do this. Yeah, that, that kind of re renege bullshit. I'm not down with that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not okay with that. But this game if if they dive into 
uh, getting more uh, like corrupt politics and shit like that, I feel like it could actually educate people. Uh, oh my God. Uh, just there's some, some little game. messaging in here. Do we? This guy is running around hacking and shooting niggas. Like, do we want people to kill Donald Trump? Is that what we're saying? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> listen. Like, if it if it happens, it happens. Happen. It has nothing to do with the video game, but you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah. And, uh, the the world of the world of Chicago always felt really small in uh in in the first Watch Dogs where I can remember almost the entire map. Uh, the Bay Area, which my family is from, so I kind of know some of the iconic spots and stuff like that and how big the city is. And they've already said this this city is not a scale one for one uh, of of the actual city, so it's not accurate size. Honestly, um, whenever I hear a game is super big, like the map, that never impresses me. I'm just like, is it full though? If I just got a big map and I just got that, I was like, that just sounds like I gotta run further to get to my destination. That's all I'm hearing. They did. Uh, if, they, if you're gonna make the map big, like uh, make it like a Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, where every time you turn a corner, there's a fucking side quest or something. Yeah, they, you know? they, yeah, they did touch up on that in their interview a couple of days ago, and they were talking about how the city feels alive because in the first one there was just stuff going on, like that was revolved around you. Now there's stuff going on to where you yeah. can trigger events or you could not trigger events just by walking by like, yeah, like, like shit I, is I, always I like, popping I, I like that, that the world feels alive and it doesn't revolve around you because that's not how it is in real life the world doesn't revolve around you how he said like you'll see a dog chasing somebody else down the street or two other guys getting a fight now i thought that was a little excessive with with the calling the cops because i was like if you're in oakland nobody's really calling the cops let's, let's, yeah. let's be real <laughs> this isn't this isn't accurate this, this is, is yeah this is not accurate, accurate at all like <laughs> and, then, and then the the fact that they they showed all these all these hood areas and stuff like that obviously they they got to show some of the nice or parts of Oakland hopefully they show Richmond and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, don't be like, like uh what was that one game? Uh or not it wasn't a game. It was a Don't be like the movie RoboCop where it was in Detroit and there's no black there's no black people in the entire movie and yeah, like that, that <laughs> everything was all any, nice looking. Goddamn sense. So I, I hope this Detroit become human game uh, touches on that too. Like it's like this this bitch better look like Detroit. I, I don't want <laughs> He said it, like. this bitch better look like Detroit. I feel like it's yeah. already Detroit in that game. Okay, let's calm down. <laughs> and they're like they're like they're like mm, let's make this game in Detroit so that we can uh, bring some more uh um some money to Detroit because it's like mm, yeah. oh Detroit and then, is Detroit and then is this like then when you have a lot of people you have a lot a lot of people commenting on, on race and stuff like that because of the Black Lives Matter movement. They're just you know, and people want to comment on Mafia Three. I, I feel like people who need to comment on oh, making that's the a one main thing character. I didn't, I didn't watch it. I, yeah, I feel like people. Uh, yeah, I didn't see that trailer either. But I, I saw the original and I already know what that game's about and I already know what it's gonna be because I played Mafia Two. I didn't play the first Mafia, but. I mean, I'm on board. I'm probably gonna buy it. I'm gonna get it for PC. I'm not gonna get it for console because I'm trying to convert. Yeah, see, the thing with PC is that there's so many more games that you can consider buying now because they're so much cheaper. And then even if you don't get it right away, dude, if, I, if I'm spending later. twenty-eight dollars a game, you got you goddamn better believe I'm buying a bunch of fucking games. Yeah. <laughs> so. uh with consoles, uh, it's a bigger dilemma because like sixty. Mm, yeah, for, stay 60 for Watch for a while. Dogs, uh, I wasn't I wasn't particularly impressed with the gameplay or the trailer that they showed or anything else, only because none of the new things that they showed weren't anything that I couldn't imagine myself adding to the game. So yeah, and once again, just like with uh, with uh, Wildlands, it's just like it just looks like a sequel to Watch Dogs. It doesn't. It's not. I, and but I never. I don't think this has ever happened. Honestly, I or maybe except for maybe like Last of Us or something. Don't ever expect the game to like revolutionize fucking like like the way you play games or anything like like that. Like I mean, some shit like this God of War it looks like it's definitely doing some different stuff. But for the most part, these games are they're gonna be what you expect them to be. It's a sequel to the game that you already played. Like maybe the new IPs is a game. It's like oh well, you don't know what to expect. But if you're playing a sequel like Watch Dogs 2, you know what to expect. You're getting Watch Dogs 2. Like that's what you're fucking getting. Yeah. So. I I will say if if Watch Dogs 2 is literally just the same as Watch Dogs 1 as far as like. The story is whatever, and you know the the hacking is whatever, and one button this, one button that, no dynamic anything. But the multiplayer is fucking lit. Uh, you got oh, better the other thing too. Yeah, there is multiplayer, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. Now, now here's the thing: is I think Ubisoft. And it's kind of like the Division's Dark Zone, where it's just like you're always online. So there, mm. there's always. Now let me let me explain somebody. that. Let me explain that because this is this is some of the information they told me I could share. Um, the way it works is, yes, you're always online, but it works much like uh, NPCs that are in the game. So imagine uh, every time you're walking around in the division and you see a JTF agent, right? And you know how they're not doing anything? Um, yeah. Or you have the civilians that walk up to you and they're just like, oh, can you help me out? And, and you give them food or whatever. 
So basically, those people that are asking for your help, those are actual like player icons. Those are not actual players. So they're not moving around. They're they're literally NPCs standing around that represent players that are currently online. Oh, so like they're people looking for a match and they might show a character standing exactly, around. Exactly, yeah. So you walk up to them, you greet them, you send them a message. Hey, would you like to play a co-op mission together? And then you guys start the mission. So well, then how come it says you can like interact with like emotes and shit? If it's an NPC, because how the, would you do the it? emotes are are how you uh, greet instead of walking up and pressing square. Hmm. So, um, it, it's I, I, I'm very interested to see if it's more than two players. If it's more than two players, I'm down, and you can play the entire campaign. I think by now, at this point, Ubisoft has hopefully, hopefully, because the the Watch Dogs One paved a very good road for Watch Dogs Two. It, it was it, it was abundantly clear that there was going to be a Watch Dogs 2 after the first Watch Dogs. Like, just because of how limited the game was, but how big they talked about uh, doing certain things. Like, you could literally yeah. hack anything. In Watch Dogs 2, you can pretty you much can hack, hack anything. Yeah, you couldn't hack shit in the first game. You could hack this, that, a couple of cars. You got cameras and street lights. Yeah, cameras, street lights, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Now, the fact that you can hack anybody's cell phone, you can hack any car, you can hack uh fucking fire hydrants um it's, it's different fire, phones. Anybody, you can literally like anybody's phone like like it seemed like in the first in the in the first game like if you hacked everything it was like a super like it was like a extra attack or something like that exactly but yeah like, so uh for for the online which is the only part i'm truly truly worried about and i want to give a shit about uh, there there's almost no way they could fuck it up except for if they only limit it to two people uh, and they don't they don't let you play through the whole campaign with another person that's that's the oh, other, yeah, that's the other thing that, that, that I'm always a stickler about is like I want to be able to play the whole game with somebody else exactly yeah. because then it's just Assassin's Creed unity all over again and I don't oh, want that was that, the, that was gonna be the thing about Assassin's Creed unity nobody expected Assassin's Creed unity to have a good story but if you could play the entire campaign with your friends and like only in your game are you treated as the main character and everyone else just looks like the other characters and it would be just like how it was in like what was another game that did this um Resident I can't remember but there's uh, no, well, I haven't played fucking Destiny, so I don't know shit about Destiny. Resident but, Evil. <laughs> uh, oh, I think said Destiny. Well, yeah, I mean, Destiny Resident lets you do it too. Resident Evil 6 did this, but I, I mean, like, like kind of how, like, it's like you you watch the cutscene and it's just your character, and then when, and then when, like, the, the cutscene is over, then your other guys just show up. It doesn't have to be context as to why they're here. Like, just to be like, oh, they're, the, they're members of the Brotherhood, and then they'd show up, and then yep, they do that shit go. with you. That's, that that's literally so all they had to be. You didn't have to, incorporate, stay, stay the, you didn't have to incorporate them into the story. Just have them there. Just have them show up during the actual gameplay component. That would have been so such an easy thing to do. I don't know what the problem was with that. So. Especially with Assassin's Creed Syndicate, where they just completely threw out the co-op 100%, but you had, you introduced the twins. Somebody should have always been playing as uh, Eevee, and somebody should have always yeah, been playing that, that's, as Yeah, that's another thing, too. That would have that been perfect for... Uh, um, doing uh, co-op, there you have two different characters that play differently. Yeah. So, so. at the, at this point, the the only thing that's really bugging me about Watch Dogs 2 because I know it's going to be a solid seven. It's it, it definitely is. It's going to be a solid yeah. seven. If the story is mediocre, if the gameplay is mediocre, uh, all this shit like it could not get worse than the first Watch Dogs, and Watch Dogs One was like a six or a seven for me. So it's not going to get any worse than that. That's that's the base. It's not going to go any lower. But it could be better, and hopefully it does get better. Um, but this is really what's going to determine it from being a 7 to a 10, uh, is if the whole game is co-op. Even if the whole game is co-op and only one other person, uh, it's yeah. only two players. But if they make it to where the whole game is co-op and you can play up to four players, I'm sorry, Ubisoft, you won. You won. Like, you won honestly, that. I'm not really, like, uh, I, don't, I haven't really been a fan of Ubisoft for the longest just because they do so much fucking bullshit bro broken <laughs> shit yeah bullshit yeah. but man i'm i'm gonna be excited if like if like especially since now i finally met somebody else that's a ubisoft fanboy i mean i'm not anymore i've been kind of deconverted but like listen, i used to be with listen, assassin's creed and shit I, I, but I'll like i, I, I ride definitely ride got another game. nigga to play because that was one of the main things assassin's creed unity even in the co-op that they had it was like you would get a bunch of randoms and these guys would fucking just do dumb shit and they would just run out and get caught they wouldn't try to play stealthily and just ruined it for me so it's like if i just had at least one person to do the thing to do the stealth with it would have changed the entire dynamic of the games so like i'm ready to play badlands in co-op i'm ready to play uh, watchdogs 2 in co-op and yeah and just it'll be it'll be amazing